I hope you have a sweet tooth like I do. Thanks to our friends at GoProvidence.com. Andrea Russell's here. Massimo is the place. We got pumpkin white chocolate, bread, pudding on the menu. That's what you're making. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. Nice to have you here. For anyone who doesn't yeah. know, uh, Massimo was is where the old Mediterraneo yes. was before, right? Yep. We speak Rhode Island language. Um, <laughs> let's go over the ingredients and tell everybody how to put this together because this isn't like something light. It's it, you're going to have a little piece of this and you're going to you know really enjoy it and it's going to be very good. But what do we need to put Put this together. All right. So the first thing you need is cubed up stale bread. Mm -hmm. We use our uh, day old burger buns at the restaurant, but you can use any sort of sandwich bread you have laying around. Um, we've got our white chocolate, brown sugar, our pumpkin puree, eggs. I have my heavy cream divided in half. We're going to heat some up and leave some the way it is. We've got our nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, salt, and a little bit of bourbon. And that's it. And that's it. That's it. Now you were talking about the the bread. You said you use uh, day old buns, like hamburger yep. buns. Any will anything do or or? Yeah, really anything that doesn't have too hard a crust. If it does, you want to cut that off. But as long as the crust is soft and squishy, it'll soak the custard right up. And that's what you want. Yeah. You also want a day old too to to first of all suck all of the the stuff up. Yep. But also because it, does it hold together better? Yeah, it sure does. Once all the moisture is gone, it just leaves all that just room for custard. Nice. This is not something, if you're on a diet and you're watching <laughs> your weight, you're probably going to step back and probably say maybe no. But yeah. if not, go for it and go Absolutely. crazy. Absolutely. All right. Sounds good. We will put this together. We'll talk about the restaurant in its new location in just a little bit. Back to you. Please, but for now, we want to send it into the kitchen. Michaela, take it away. Hey, thanks so much, and thanks to GoProvidence.com for bringing in Chef Andrea from Massimo with a sweet treat for all of you out there. We were just talking about fall flavors. Pumpkin, everything. Yeah, pumpkin, including everything. bread pudding. Yep. <laughs> so where do we stand in the pro in the process of making it? All right. Well, right now I'm heating up the cream that I'm going to pour over the white chocolate so that gets all melted. Mm -hmm. um, but the rest of it can go together now. So okay. if you want to just yeah, here let's switch all right. spots here. <laughs> so first thing, take those eggs. You're going to want to whisk those up. Five whole eggs. Five whole eggs. Yep. Okay. You want to whisk those first so they get all nice and broken up. So when you mix everything in, it all mixes it. together. And bread pudding is something that a lot of folks have. Maybe you don't think to put pumpkin in it or even white chocolate. Right. Maybe people love chocolate chips. Yeah, you can really add just about anything to the basic custard, mm -hmm. um, especially something like a puree. It just blends right in. Okay. So now you can take this cream here. You're going to want the brown sugar and the pumpkin. Okay. I like those flavors coming together. A lot of brown sugar. Yep. Light brown sugar, dark brown, does it matter? Um, I mean, it really doesn't matter too, too much. The dark brown sugar just has more of the molasses flavor. I tend to use that mm -hmm. um, just because it really gives you that brown sugar flavor. Yep. So this has come up to a simmer. So I'm just going to turn that off and pour it over the white chocolate. Is this that the, an easier way to do it as opposed to putting the chips into the Yeah, into if you're cream. using cream, there's really no reason not to just do it this way. You don't have to worry about burning it. Just let Perfect. it sit for, you know, 30 seconds and it's just going to whisk together. Beautiful. Right? So you can add in, now you got your cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. I love all those warm spices around this time of year. Little and ginger you just got a little bit of salt. Salt just all of brings this? out, yep. Okay. Just brings all the flavors out a little bit stronger. Really whisk those together. Make sure everything's incorporated there. And last ingredient going in here, we got your bourbon. Woohoo! Throw that in there. We are well on our way. Our chocolate chips are going to keep melting. And when we come back, we'll finish things up. Lucky Andrea Russell because she is in the kitchen with Brendan and myself. <laughs> Massimo is the place. Thanks to GoProvidence.com. Uh, pumpkin white chocolate bread pudding is what we are making, and we're ready to go. All right. Is this not a photo suitable huh? for framing <laughs> right here? I mean, Will, Brendan, and Andrea, let's yeah. go. You've been hard at work in here, haven't you? All right, so last step of making the custard itself. Mm -hmm. We're going to pour the custard that Michaela mixed this, right in there. This yep. ingredient's right here. Pour there he goes. Right I'm here in. to supervise Andrea. And then I just whisked together our melted white chocolate and cream there. Mm -hmm. right. So you can pour that right in. Oh, man, this sounds good alone. <laughs> that alone, I... That does sound and look pretty good. <laughs> Looks good to me. All right. So at this point, we would let it sit for a couple hours. I usually do it overnight. So let we'll just it get soak comfortable it on here. Us. Yeah, yeah. We'll so we're gonna um, around, come back to this tomorrow. Around yeah. <laughs> Magic of television. We have done this one right oh, here. There you are. So 
This Look one, that. you're going to bake it for three, at 325 for about 45 minutes with tin foil over it. Okay. Take the tin foil off, bake it for another five. Right. That gets it nice and set on top. So if you're doing this at home, you can just kind of leave it in this casserole, do it mm -hmm. family style. Right. But at the restaurant, we pop Here it out of go. the pan. Here we are, right? Do you Cut need these? a nice portion of it. You don't need any of these? Well, we'll need all of those. You need these. They all what look do you good. need? All right. So <laughs> I knew I'd get it eventually. <laughs> all right. So here's our portion of bread pudding. So awesome. we're going to top this with a little bit of salted caramel. Oh, can you believe this? Wow, what a Monday treat <laughs> this is. Can you be here every Monday? Wow. <laughs> sure. I'll come back. <laughs> We've got these poached cranberries. They're just cooked down with a little bit of sugar and spices. Spectacular. This is our pecan praline so it's a butter and brown sugar candy with salted pecans well Ooh. yes you pecan and then we just finish it off with a dollop of whipped cream oh god well. that looks so good <laughs> <laughs> looks awesome you know for what? a monday the way you put this together was really easy so we're gonna you would actually let this sit for a couple of hours yep. right before you put it in there yep spray the bottom of the the casserole pan mm -hmm. yep that'll let it pop right out pop right out in the oven and you're good to go. Yeah, so and this is something you can do the night before, bake it off in the morning, have it for brunch, right. maybe with a little bit less toppings on it. But And it's something that people out there, maybe novices of the kitchen like myself, shouldn't be intimidated by. It looks very basic. Right, yeah. yeah. It's just mixing, let it sit, bake it off. All right, fantastic. All right. And lots of great things always happening at uh, Massimo. Yeah, we've got um, brunches started as of a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So we've got a Sunday brunch, drag brunches the first Sunday of every month. We're open for lunch and dinner. And we're about to start a new bar menu, which has um, small appetizer plates available at the bar um, in the yeah. afternoon, evening. And you've been really That's busy, too. To me. Which is Super busy, also yeah. Good. And we are open for private events. We have that whole upstairs area with the beautiful right. windows you, overlooking Thank Atwell's. You. Right, we'll beautiful location, this. right? Yeah, you digging into? I'm digging in. Right. Why not? Right. It's right there. We'll slide this aside. Taunting us. Sugar to start your morning. I don't need to cut in front of you. Oh, it's fine. But we have business to attend to. We are on an important mission. It's going there when you need a little. That's fantastic. Because we're going to have it. You need a little of the whipped cream. Yeah, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't no. want to be rude. We want to be <laughs> Cover it. Cover it all. I got to watch this. Fantastic. Do oh, all right? God. That's so <laughs> good. You did more than all right. That is Will Gilbert and wow. Brendan Kirby approved. I'm sure it's going to be the entire Roadshow crew approved because that's you know delicious. What it tastes, like? It tastes like cookie dough. It does, Doesn't yeah. It? Right, there yeah, you I go. Some I think we're going in for another added <laughs> toppings and whatnot. Well, wow, this is, is Andrea Russell. She is here, courtesy of our, courtesy of our friends at GoProvidence.com. Keep talking. From Massimo. <laughs> I can do that. Thank you very much. You're Keep talking. Welcome. If you Thank guys you. would like to get the recipe to learn more all about that great establishment or to watch us sample this again, just head oh, to Roadshow.com. Wow.